So when you're on a canoe trip or a backpacking trip, if you're packing light on the gear, then that means you're going to be probably eating a lot of dehydrated food. And let's say for breakfast, you're about to have your instant oatmeal and you found some blueberries to put in it and that sounds good. And what's going to go with it? Well, you could get packets of instant coffee. There is a new product that we are trying today while we're here at Coffee Pot Landing. It is Nature's Kettle Coffee. And what this is, is actually real coffee that is going to brew, not in a special extra coffee pot that you'd have to bring, but um, you're going to heat up the water and that this little thing that doesn't look very substantial actually works as the coffee pot. You'll undo this spigot and pour the coffee from there and then you will pour it right in the cup. So we're gonna try it out and see what we think. What we've got here is 100% Colombian coffee, um, but this little coffee um, brewer thing is not a throwaway. It can be used over and over again and much like less uh, weight and room than an actual uh, coffee kettle or tea kettle that you might have to use otherwise. So once you're done drinking the Colombian that's in here, there are refill packets like this refill blueberry coffee that would go so great with whatever blueberry item you might be having for breakfast. There's a whole bunch of other ones. There's French roast if you like that, Sumatra if you like that, and uh, you got hazelnut flavored coffees to choose from. If you're not a coffee drinker, they do have black tea options, and they even have a whole thing of hot cocoa for a whole family. So you got all, a lot of things to choose from, and this handy lightweight thing can last for a whole camping trip, being used over and over again as a coffee kettle. Okay, now we have boiling water and we are ready to do this. It says to first remove the spout cap, so that's this. You're gonna unscrew that and then unzip the top of the bag. And in doing that, then you should be able to see that there's the coffee filter inside. And we're gonna be, when we pour the water in, this is gonna be able to sit flat on the picnic table, supposedly. Okay, so we're supposed to put one cup in first and let it brew and then we add the rest after that. So, let's start with one cup. We're gonna pour over, easy peasy, and Allow first cup to saturate for one to two minutes. Again, you can see that the filter stays on top because of the way the packaging is squeezed in the middle. So that keeps it on top, just like your coffee pot at home. Okay, now we're gonna seal the top. We're gonna let it steep for five minutes, just like you would a French press. Put the lid back on so it doesn't spill. The bottom is filled so it's able to stand on its own. Let's put this to the test here. Got some of this nature's coffee kettle here. Screw the lid. The moment of truth. And look at that fancy dancy little handle right there. Looks like a nice dark brew. Question is, how does it taste? Oh, that's good coffee. Yep, that's good coffee. So that's the word on nature's kettle, camper's coffee. Coming from Coffee Pot Landing in northern Minnesota.